Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jill with At Home with Jill, and this is gonna be a very good cleaning motivation video. My kids are sick, we got home from camping. Guys, it never fails. Every time we have gone camping so far this year, we have come home with sick kids. Um, we did go to a birthday party on Saturday, and the birthday boy was sick. So I'm thinking my kids got sick from him. And then the next day we left for camping and we've been camping all week. Um, they're okay. They just have like sore throats and runny nose and low fevers. It's no big deal, but... Um, they're just taking it easy today and I am unpacking everybody's things. I'm just getting all of the dirty clothes into the kitchen so I can do laundry and I'm having everyone bring their backpack um, to their room. But yeah, so this was one round of cleaning up after camping, but we actually left a ton of our stuff in the cabin at the campground um, because I couldn't fit it all in my car with me and my kids and my husband was at work and so when he got off work this day we went back to the cabin finished getting all of our stuff out of the cabin cleaned the cabin and then came home and so you're gonna see like a whole nother round of me unpacking and that's because more stuff came home from the cabin later on um but yeah my house was it wasn't too messy um there was just lots of laundry to be done and um yeah I just I wanted to take this time to like really reset my house so a lot of times when I'm filming videos I'm mostly just like picking up and putting things where it goes and like kind of tidying um, because that's what's more kind of satisfying I guess to see like the mess go from like messy to clean um, or like messy to tidy but I don't always actually like clean clean when I'm filming I don't know why I think the days where I'm like actually cleaning I'm so much in the zone that I don't usually get the camera out and all of that but um but yeah so today I tried to do more do some a little bit more cleaning um while I was filming and sorry about the camera going blurry and stuff but anyway okay so here is now more stuff came home so now I'm unloading more and unpacking and cleaning more um so anyway enjoy this video guys i am gonna put on um some music for a little while my throat is starting to go so i don't know if i'm getting sick or what but i literally just um i mopped the house with pine saw today which you're gonna see that in the end of this video um never again will i ever do that i never Never use pine saw ever. Okay, I never use pine saw. But I read something that was like, oh yeah, bugs hate the smell of pine saw. So if you mop your floors with like a diluted pine saw mix, um, it'll keep bugs away and blah, blah blah. So I was just like, oh, I'm gonna give it a try. I know that I always see like a bottle of pine saw in my mom's garage, and so I was like, oh, I'll just go grab her pine saw and put a little splash of it in my mop water and see how it goes. Ugh. I'm literally dying. I feel like I'm getting a migraine. My throat is so scratchy and dried out. Like, like the pine saw irritated me. Like, like no other. I don't usually use like chemicals when I clean. Um, I usually use like non-toxic cleaners, vinegar, baking soda. Um, every once in a while I use like bleach, like a tiny bit of bleach for things. Um, but I actually love the smell of bleach. Um, but too much of it bothers me too. Um, I'm just very sensitive to chemicals and I didn't realize that Pine Sol was like a toxic chemical cleaner. I don't know why I was thinking it was like natural, like pine oil, you know, just a natural pine cleaner. No. It is so, ugh, I am just, I'm, I feel like I'm dying. Like, I feel 
so sick from using that today. I have opened all of our windows. I've turned on the ceiling fans. I cannot get the smell away. I, I feel like it's like, I feel like my clothes absorbed it. I feel like my hair absorbed it. I literally just put a tiny splash in a, a lot of hot water. So I don't know you guys, but I will never do that again. I learned a lesson. My floors do feel very, very clean. Um, but yeah, no, never again, never again. Oh, also, um, while I'm, while I'm chatting, I might as well just keep going because now something popped into my mind, but okay. So I have lately been feeling like I can't keep up with my channel because homeschool is taking a lot longer than it used to now that my kids are older. Um, like my youngest is not just doing preschool stuff, you know, like she's finishing up kindergarten. She's going to be going into first grade. I have, so in a couple months, I'm going to have a first, third, fifth, and seventh grader, like junior high. I'm going to be homeschooling a junior high student. So school is taking a lot more out of me than it ever used to. And I'm just having a really hard time keeping up with my channel. And so I was talking to my husband about it because it's something that is really stressing me out and wearing on me. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. Like, you know, school has to be the number number one priority. And when I am prioritizing school like I should, um, I feel like I don't have time for like filming and editing and uploading and all of that. Because, okay, yes, I'm filming stuff that I'm already going to do, right? Like I'm going to clean my house no matter what, whether I have a channel or not. But the filming isn't what takes up more time. It's editing the video, um, uploading it, making my thumbnail, like adding the description, like all the things that I have to do that's behind the scenes that you guys don't see. Like I feel like I'm drowning. Like I feel like I don't have time for anything. Okay. So we kind of talked a little bit today and he was saying, you know, like you do like to watch TV at night. What if you just stopped watching TV and just used that time to do YouTube stuff? But for me, like at the end of the day, um, being able to just relax and like veg out on shows, like that is the time where like I don't have to use my brain. I don't have to answer to anybody like everyone's asleep and I can just chill. I don't want to give that up. OK, so then I was kind of brainstorming with him and we came up with um, me like getting up early um, and doing YouTube before school. But. I realize like I wake up usually with a clean house, right? So like cleaning videos in the morning aren't going to be very satisfying. So I decided I can clean my house and film it after school. Like I'll film my videos after school during the week, but then I'll wake up early the next day and edit and upload it and like schedule it out. So then I'm always editing and uploading and doing the behind the scenes stuff in the mornings before school, but then I'm filming and cleaning up after school. Does that make sense? Um, and so right now what I do is like I wait until the day before I need a video up and I'm filming and editing and uploading. I'm doing all the things in one day and it is it's exhausting like it's exhausting and then because my video needs to go up the next day no matter how I feel that evening and no matter how tired I am like I have to edit and upload and it takes hours you guys um and so sometimes lately I've just been choosing to go to bed anyway and then not getting videos up and YouTube's like punishing me and like I'm not getting as many views as I used to because my schedule hasn't been consistent. And so anyway, all that to say, sorry, I'm kind of rambling, but all of that to say, I came up with a plan. And so I'm going to be still filming after school when my house is a mess because every day my house gets messy um, while we're doing school. And so I'll 
cont- and I like I like resetting the house after school is over too. I just I like that because then when my husband gets home from work, our school stuff's not everywhere. Our house isn't a wreck. Like he comes home to a nice clean house, and then after dinner too, I usually just have to tidy up a little bit before I relax at night. So I'm going to continue doing all of my filming and everything on weekdays after school, but I will, I won't be editing and uploading at night anymore. I'll be doing that in the morning. So I'm really excited about this. I hope it works out. I, I need to be disciplined and actually make myself wake up early because a lot of times I stay up late watching TV and then I don't wake up until my kids start waking up. But I want to wake up to an alarm before them and start working before they wake up. So anyway, that is my plan. I hope it works out. If it does, you guys will have a lot more content from me consistently. So if you start seeing tons of consistent content from me, you'll know that my plan is working. (laughs) Um, And then also... I was thinking too, if I film every day, like five days a week, but maybe only put out like three or four videos a week, then I'll have like a stash of videos to schedule out and I'll be way ahead. That way, if I go, let's say, spend a week at a cabin, videos will still be going up during that week. You guys won't even notice I'm gone. And then, yeah. So anyway, all of these things I've just been thinking about, it's been on my mind that I'm not posting enough and I don't know. So all of these things are going to be hopefully resolved. And then I know a lot of you are very curious about the kitchen and everything. So the kitchen is happening, like no matter what, our our kitchen is going to happen, but I don't have a date for you guys, so I don't know when the kitchen is getting started because we're still waiting on the county for certain things. Um, It's a very slow process. I got some people in my comments like, yeah, right, the county doesn't take that long, blah, blah, blah. Yes, it does. Where I live, yes, it does. The county can make things take months, close to a year. Um, Building a house is years, multiple years here where I live. Okay. So that is, that is how it is here. Um, I live in California and that's how it is where I live. (laughs) Um, people always make comments and think they know everything, but yeah, anyway. So anyway, my kids are putting away their clean laundry right here. And then I'm just going to kind of fix the couch. So I can't remember if I've told you guys this, but I have been sleeping on the couch every night. And so I move the ottomans over so that I have like a nice big area to sleep on. So I'm not like just scrunched up on the narrow sofa part. But um, our bedroom, that is getting started. So our bedroom is getting a sliding glass door in place of the French doors. And we're getting new windows a new window in our bathroom and a a new a new exhaust fan in our bathroom. Our current our um bleh, our master bathroom has no exhaust fan. And so all winter long our every time someone takes a hot shower in our bathroom, not just our bathroom, but our entire bedroom gets steamy and um our French doors are also not sealed properly and so rain has been getting in so we are having a mold issue in our bedroom um it doesn't bother my husband but it bothers me um i every time i sleep in my room i wake up with a sore throat and itchy eyes every single time okay when i sleep on the couch i wake up fine and so after like a week of sleeping on the couch and not having those symptoms i tried one more night in bed And I woke up again with the sore throat and the itchy eyes. So I knew that it was from sleeping in my room. Um, Because there's mold in our window tracks. There's mold in our baseboards. There's mold um, just like in the trim all around the French doors. There's mold in our bathroom. And yeah, so we're getting all of that stuff replaced. And hopefully that'll take care of like the moisture issue in our room. 
And then um, our windows and our French doors are like 30 years old. And the windows are like metal. Like they don't even make them like this anymore. And then the French doors too are like wood. And they're warped and they're like rotting and it's just not good. So we're getting replaced with brand new, you know, like vinyl sliding glass door, vinyl windows. Um, it's going to be really nice. I think it's going to really help keep it cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter as well because in the winter we can feel air blowing through all of the cracks of our French doors. So it's just going to be really nice to like have those things replaced um, and then I think once all of that work is done in our room, I'm going to replace the area rug and I would love to replace my bed. Um, I think I'm going to sell the leather sofa because it's just too big in my room and like it just doesn't look right. It looks out of place. I love the sofa. I love it so much and I was so thankful for it, but it just we don't have room for it. Um, and then what else? I want to replace all my bedding. Um, but other than that, yeah. So, um, I plan on tomorrow or this weekend sometime. So today's Friday, by the way, that I'm filming this, um, and editing, but I plan on this weekend at some point, I want to declutter my bedroom again and completely like clear it out and have it very minimal um our windows and sliding glass door have already been ordered and so he's just waiting for those to come in and then as soon as they come in he's going to come in and replace that stuff and do the work in here um and so i want to have the room like prepped and ready for that um our curtains that are hanging by the french door have like this weird like water stain at the bottom of them from where the rain has been blowing in. Um, and so I want to take the curtains down. I'll probably wash them and I'll wait and put them back up when the work is all done. Um, so what else? Anyway, I don't know. I feel like I've been rambling too much now. But the area rug in our room too is just so old and gross it's our old living room rug so it has been through a lot um we used to just always wear shoes on it and everything um I still do now just because it's already old and gross but we don't wear shoes at all on our living room rug now um and it has been staying so much nicer for long a long time so now I want to replace our bedroom rug and then also not wear shoes on it. Um, what else? I don't know. I don't know what else to say. But I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. I've been talking way too much. I'm sorry. I'm going to put some music on now. So enjoy. This is me. I'm so royal. And you all want to be round. Yeah, you all want to be round. A champion, a champion. I got tons of soul in my true collective wall. Famous, also famous, number one is our reward. I do what I want when I want and how I want it. Leave you with the one in the yeah, air, that's how I roll. I got changes, bro, I don't care about no goal. Better, so much better, flipping the credit ball. Always on the show, so they know that I still got it. And I never feel sorry, yeah, on top of the world. This is me, I'm so royal. And you all wanna be round. Yeah, you all wanna be round. I'm a champion, a champion This is me, I'm still on it Cause you all wanna be loved Yeah, you all wanna be loved But a champion, a champion
Guys, it made me way too happy to get rid of this disgusting old mop head. But I totally forgot that a while ago I bought a pack of brand new ones and I just have not replaced it. I just keep using the old one. Ugh, it's disgusting. Um, anyway, it made me so happy to finally throw that thing in the trash and put this fluffy, beautiful, bright white one on. What you do Alrighty guys, so that is gonna do it for this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and just wait, this this mop water was nasty guys. It was nasty. It's been way too long since I mopped that whole front part of my house. Um, anyway, yeah, that was gross. Alright, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!